Hey, checkers, what are we going to draw today, dude? A turkey. All right, because Thanksgiving's coming, huh? Yeah. Mm-mm, turkey. Oh. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper. Yeah. And we, I've already drawn a turkey before. Did you know that? No. It was a little while ago. We actually drew it a long time ago, but we drew it a certain way. We drew it straight on, and this time, and it, and it kind of looks a little cartoony. So this time we're going to draw a little bit more realistic turkey, and it's going to be a side view, and we're even going to color him. Yay! <laughs> all right, okay, you ready to start? Mm -hmm. We're going to draw his head, and it's going to be over here on the left side, all right? And we're going to do a little question mark, or it's going to look like a question mark. So we're going to come up and then back down. And I'm gonna bring this just a little bit further, right here on the front. Good, dude, you did it. Okay, now we're gonna come back up like this, and this is gonna be for the little thing that hangs down from his beak. I can never remember what that's called. I think we can What did call you call it? it? The gobble wobble. The gobble wobble. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna put a little circle right here at the end of that line. This is gonna be his eye. And I probably drew my eye a little too big, but that's okay. We'll put some uh, a little circle in there and then color it in except for that circle. Good job. Okay, ready for the next part? Yeah. We're gonna do his beak. So we're just put a little a little kind of sideways V on the end there. And then we'll come back in and do the end of his beak on this side. Good job. All right. Ready for the rest of his head? Mm -hmm. In his neck, we'll come down here and then make his make his little neck, and that's going to start coming into his belly. All right, let's finish his head. So they've got a little design that comes down and then back up, and then we'll put a little some curved lines in there for the texture. Good job. All right. Should we do his body? We yeah. got his head done. Let's start his body. So we're gonna do a curved line that comes out and then back back around. Make it nice and round so he looks tasty. Tasty turkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, let's finish his belly. So we're gonna bring this line down a little bit further. Right here. And then we're gonna put his wing in here. Further. More so back. further. Yeah, further, further down and further back. Oh. So in here. Yeah, you don't want to go too far because we got to do uh, a wing, but that's okay. We're gonna, you can probably just do the wing over it right here, and then this part of the line you can camouflage in with the feathers. Okay, okay. does that work? Yeah. So, watch this. Where I'm gonna do his wing, and so you, you cross back over. I'm gonna go a little further, about like that. So, you come down and cross over the line, and then we'll camouflage that in the wing. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we're going to come back here and let's finish his neck because their neck and their head are red and they don't have feathers on their head. But then right here is where the brown feathers start. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're going to do that same kind of line right here for his wing. We're going to just come up here and then end so go with some bumps. Yes. Good job. Okay, now let's start his feathers on his wing. So we're gonna do a couple lines that come out right here, and you don't wanna go all the way down. I'm just gonna do a couple of these, okay? I'm gonna do it this way so I'm not as wobbly. Wobbly, gobbly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got them? You can probably do one more. You wanna, yeah. Or do you wanna just do two? That's good. No, three, right? You're gonna, three. oh, you did three lines, but you'll have two oh. feathers, so you're. Put a curved line to connect the, the lines right there. Good. All right. Okay, now let's do these other feathers in here. And we're going to follow uh, the round. So let's see how they're curved. And then I'm going to curve here too. And then this one's going to kind of curve out of it. Like so. Good. Just overlap it. Yeah, there you go. That works. 
Okay, and then we're gonna do the same. You can uh, do a curve line in between. You know, I'm gonna put another one back here and then curve that one in right there. Good job, dude. I like it. He's looking awesome, huh? He looks a little more realistic than our other one. Yeah. All right, okay, so let's do his tail feathers. So we're gonna do a little one right here, and this is gonna make him look a little bit more 3D. So have one little tail feather coming out, and we're gonna do another tail feather right next to it, but bigger, and we're gonna fan it as we go around his, his body, all right? Yes, 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 yes. So here we go, we're gonna do another one. I'm gonna make this one just a little bit longer. Okay, and then do another one. I'll keep going around. And then when you come around this way, start getting a little smaller. Got it? Oh, cool, that's awesome. Okay, now let's connect them. So I'm gonna do one that connects that little one. I'm gonna do one that connects up to the big one. Connect up to the next one and go all the way around. Go around and then finish. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Okay, now let's do the same kind of design, but go around halfway, halfway through. So I'll do one right here so it's halfway and then go, you can kind of go on each side back in to the edges. Good. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to do one more right below it. So, and right next to it. Below it and next to it. My, 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 what? my bottom one, uh -huh. my, this one, I was, I think, a little too low, so. Oh, that's all right. No, it looks good. Or, or, or did, are you going on top? Yeah. That's good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. <laughs> Just keep going. You're good. Okay, now I'm going to come back up, and I'm going to do one on the top edge. So, yeah, you might run out of room down there on the other one, but that's okay. It's always okay, man. It's yeah. art. If it doesn't look exactly like the way I do it, and this is, goes for all of our art friends at home too. If you guys are doing your turkeys and it looks a little bit different than both of ours, mine are checkers, it's okay. It's totally okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing his toes. Yes, we're missing his toes. So I'm going to come down here. We're going to do two lines that come out. And then we'll do a V to connect them. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more right here. And then I'm going to do another one right next to it. And then another V. We got his feet in there. That looks like one awesome turkey, dude. <laughs> do you want to eat him? Yeah. He looks uh -oh. tasty. <laughs> All right, dude, should we color him? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We'll get the oil pastels ready, and then okay. we'll color them. Okay, we got our oil pastels. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right, this is going to be so awesome. So we're going to need some brown. And we're going to need brown for sure, huh? And we're going to need some red, and we'll need some yellow or orange. And we'll get this all ready, huh? And what else yeah, we need? I think we need some black. It's black. Like all right, okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. First step we're gonna do is let's do the red. So I'm gonna get my red too, and his the turkey's head is red. So we're gonna do a just a light, uh, lightly go over this part of his head. And there. And we're gonna speed a lot of the coloring. We're gonna speed up so that our art friends don't have to watch us color everything. But so if. If we get to a part where you need to catch up, just pause it and then catch up, and then uh, we'll keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of orange on top of just his head. And yes, you can use yellow if you want. Oh yeah, that still works. Yeah, 
So I'm just gonna we're just gonna mix it with or a little bit of orange or red or yellow so that it doesn't look so it looks a little bit different just makes it look a little cooler all right and then i'm going to go back over with the red and make it just a little darker and i'm going to do it on the back side of his head right here you can go back with the orange too and that way it looks like there's some light shining on the top of his head <laughs> awesome. So I, when I, we're doing oil pastels, I like switching back and forth between them. And you can just keep layering it until it looks the way you want it to look. You got it? Mm -hmm. Good. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm going to get a little blue because they, and some gray. Now if our art friends don't have all the colors that we have, it's totally cool to just use other colors or you could even just paint this red if you want or not paint but use oil pastels to color this part red if you wanted you don't have to do it the same color we're doing so i did a little what blue did you use a beet turkey is blue uh a lot of turkeys they have the oh <laughs> turn that turn that down huh yeah. So a lot of turkeys, their beak and their they have kind of some blue parts on their uh, neck and beak kind of looks looks blue, and I added some gray so it doesn't look too blue. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's do this body. So we're gonna start with brown, and we're gonna just do a light uh, a light press. We'll just press lightly and cover his all his body except for his feathers on his wings and his tail and we're going to do some shading with this now i'm going to do another layer on top of this and but i'm going to press a lot darker and i'm going to do a layer that's dark on his belly and i'm not going to do it dark on his wing you see that so stop at his wing. And then I'm gonna do a little dark under the red part. Got it, good. And then I'm gonna do another layer of dark right here by his wing. Okay. And this is gonna be some shading so that it looks, he looks more 3D. And then I'm gonna get uh, darker as I go up and it's gonna thin it's gonna get a lot thinner as I get towards the top of his body so it's thick down here around the back and then thinner up here at the top <coughs> okay now let's switch I'm gonna switch to light brown I don't know if we have another light brown let's see why don't you we'll speed it up I'll use this and okay. then we can switch okay okay All right, cool. Now you do it, and then I'm also gonna layer back over top of that light brown. Just gonna make it a little more brown while you're doing that. Okay, good job, man. Okay, now I'm going to, we're gonna do another light layer with the feathers, but super light, really, really light as light as you possibly can. Maybe don't even hardly press down at all. And that's because these feathers are gonna be a lot lighter. We're gonna use orange on top of these. Should we speed it up? Yeah. All right, let's do it right Thank now. You. All right, cool. Okay, now that we got that, we're going to, here, you scoot it up a little bit more so I can see. Um, we're going to use uh, orange, or you can use a yellow. And this is going to, we're going to press really hard on top. And it should, it shouldn't look totally orange. Um, it should look a little more brown orange because we put that light layer down. But it won't, um, so it won't be totally bright. It'll look more realistic. The whole thing, do the whole thing. Yeah, go down the whole, all the feathers. And we'll speed this up. You ready to speed it up again? Yeah. Okay, let's do it right now. You beat me. 
Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use, let's get some scratch paper right here. And we can use this to um, get some of that brown off of our uh, oil pastel. So you can just rub some of that off. Oh, uh, uh, it sounded like it broke, huh? Okay, now we're gonna use we're gonna use this on his on our turkey's feet. Now that's a lot brighter. You can use this one if you want. Oh yeah, use that bright orange. That'd be awesome. And then if you want, it can come back with uh, the brown and kind of put a little shadow right there on his feet. And you can go back over it with uh, with the orange or the yellow. I like how bright those feet are. Those are awesome. Okay. Ready for the next step? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna shade, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, gradate. We're gonna change from a dark a really dark brown so I'll do this first first feather so we're gonna put a really dark section right there okay and then as we go down to his body we're gonna get lighter so watch this get all the way down to his back and then it's gonna be super light you can layer it a couple times if you need to And then when we're done with that, we can come back and layer with the orange on top of that. Can you use the bright? Yeah. It still work? Yeah, go ahead. Doesn't that look cool? It goes from a dark brown down to a light, light color. So let's go through and we'll do the whole tail feather, okay? And we'll speed okay. it up really fast. But we're going to do those same steps on each feather. Okay? Okay. Let's do it right now. Okay, cool, man. All right, let's do let's do it again. And we're just going to do I think we should just do a dark brown. As I said again, but let's just do a dark brown. So press really hard right in between, so right on the fel, uh, tail feathers tip. And then press really hard and you can press down all the way so it's just solid, okay? Should we speed it up? Yeah. All right, let's do it right now. Okay, you got it. All right, now we're gonna switch back over to the orange and we're gonna put just a little layer to add some 3D. And you might have to press really hard. It might not work or show up very well on the, on the uh, camera. But we're going to add just a little light on the, on the left side of each feather. You know what? It's not really showing up. I should have probably tested it. Let's try a little white. There we go. Let's do some white. So get some white. And then um, just put a little layer on top of the feather. So not on the whole side, and this is just going to add some light shading, a highlight on the feathers, and I'm going to do it down here too. Look at that. That looks awesome. <laughs> just to make him look like he's, like the feathers are round. I'm going to put a little, I think I'm going to put some on his top too right here and on his head. Yeah, that's awesome. I like doing this little highlights on our turkey. <laughs> That's looking really good, man. All right, you ready for the last step? Wait, I turned that kind of pink. <laughs> so we're gonna. I'm gonna take the black, the uh, our uh, black oil pastel, and I'm gonna put just a thicker line on the top of his tail feathers right here and we're going to leave the white below it and this is going to it's just going to make his uh tail feathers look like they have little black 
ends on Mine's the gray. tip. Oh, that's okay. You want to use this? Yeah. Okay, I'll switch in just a sec. There you go. Dude, that looks so awesome, man. So even though we used uh, browns, reds, oranges, and yellows, he still looks really colorful, huh? Yeah. It's not just a brown turkey. <laughs> he looks colorful and he looks like he's 3D because we used some shading. Was it fun? Yeah. You did a great job, dude. You should be very proud of it. Give me five. <laughs> Is that with your wing? <laughs> We hope you guys had fun drawing and coloring your turkeys with us. And if we did go too fast and we sped up the coloring too much, you can always pause it, watch what we do, pause it, and then follow what we do, and then start it back up. Cool? Yeah. Should we say goodbye to our friends? Mr. Bye. Turkey? <laughs> See you later, our friends. Goodbye. I'm a turkey. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. gobble. <laughs> no. I'll peck you, though. <laughs>